What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm super excited to bring you guys another Black Ops 2 video. So uh, today I wanted to break down kind of all the zombies information that we've gotten over the past week or so because there's been like three trailers with zombie stuff in it. We had the replacers trailer, the behind the scenes trailer, and then yesterday they came out with a new trailer. And, and there's just a lot going on. I wanted to put it all together for you guys and kind of do a comprehensive video that kind of covers a little bit of everything. I'm not going to go super duper in depth. If you want crazy in depth stuff, uh, I will say NGT Zombies is doing an amazing job. He's got like 13 videos up analyzing the trailers over there. And, and I've watched a couple and he's got some cool ideas. So I'll link his channel down in the description if you want that. But uh, right here, this is just going to be kind of like an overall video talking about everything. That, uh, that's pretty exciting. I'm super excited about the zombies. It should be really good. And we only have a couple of days left until we get to play it. So uh, anyway, first of all, it takes place on the island of Alcatraz, which is an island in the middle of San Francisco Bay that houses a prison called Alcatraz. And it's one of the most well-known prisons ever. You know, it, it was just, it was where they kind of sent the worst of the worst because it was supposed to be you couldn't escape from it. I think there are a few people who escaped from it. But it's just the, the amount of water and the, the temperature of the water around it made it so that even if you got outside of the prison, there was no way you were going to be able to swim to freedom because it was just too cold. You'd get sucked under and, and you would die. So, uh, yeah, it's on pretty much the worst of the worst, you know, the, the most maximum security prison you can get, which obviously is very cool. It's going to be very freaky. And, and very scary. Now, the people we're playing as are a bunch of mobsters and guys that had to do with like the prohibition of alcohol and prostitution and gambling and things like that. There's Finn O'Leary, Arthur Arlington, Billy Handsome, and Salvatore DeLuca. And, and those are just the four guys that we're going to be playing as. It's not the normal zombies characters that we're used to or anything like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And then they're also all played by actual actors and that have played mobsters in movies and things. So it, it should be really believable. And I'm really expecting that the, uh, the dialogue and kind of the story uh, via the dialogue is going to be very, very good in this one. Because, I don't know, just a, a lot of the guys that are playing these characters are good actors. So uh, that should be pretty cool. Now, in terms of other things like weird gameplay additions that we're going to see that aren't, we aren't used to seeing in previous Zombies modes, there's an Afterlife mode. So, uh, what it is, is I think when you die, or I'm not really sure how you go into it, but there's some sort of Afterlife or Purgatory mode that you can see on screen right here. You're this, like, blue, shining light running through things. And, and it's pretty cool. And not only does it make it so that when you die, you can still run around and do things, and, you know, you aren't just waiting there watching your friends. It's also kind of necessary to progress through the zombies. As you hear when he says right here. You see clues throughout the map that tell you, ooh, perhaps if I'm in the afterlife, I can interact with this object. Or there's some puzzle going on here that I need to be in the afterlife. Back east. It says that, you know, it's kind of necessary for you to be in afterlife mode in order to complete challenges and puzzles and things. And actually, I think you might start off in afterlife mode. Listen right here. You start off in the afterlife mode, and that's just going to be you know, what's going on. You're going to try to solve the, the mystery from the second you start. Afterlife. Yeah, so he says you start off in afterlife mode, and it looks like you have to be in afterlife mode to turn on the power. So, I don't know. This could be pretty interesting. I'm not exactly sure it's going to work, but there definitely is a new afterlife mode that you can get into when you die, or maybe you can sacrifice yourself and go into it or something like that. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, that's how that works. Now, uh, as for the actual gameplay, like, goal, the plan is to get off of Alcatraz Island. So, if you look at these plans right here, it says afterlife equals power, which again, that's what I'm saying. I think you have to be in afterlife mode to turn on the power and and then it also says you need to find the warden's key get the plane parts build the plane on the roof and get off the island now if you look in this screenshot right here you can see there's a little ramp on top of the roof of the island in the game and then of course right here in the trailer that was released yesterday we can see the people using the plane and you know kind of vaulting themselves off the island so that brings up the question is this a zombies game that you can win? You know, is this something where when you get to a certain round or once you, you know, build the plane and get off the island, does it say, oh my gosh, you've won? No, I don't think so. I mean, first of all, that wouldn't be zombies. Zombies has always been about getting to the highest round and using new strategies to get farther. And it's kind of like an unwinnable infinite thing. And I don't think they'll ever move away from that. And also, if you look right here in a trailer that was released, this is one of the boss zombies that we'll talk about in a little bit. But if you look behind him, that looks like the Golden Gate Bridge. And, and Alcatraz and the Golden Gate Bridge 
aren't necessarily too close to each other, but they are reachable if you had some sort of makeshift plane. So I think that if you build the plane and ramp yourself off of Alcatraz, you go to the Golden Gate Bridge and you might continue fighting. And you know, maybe you were only there for a little bit, maybe you spend the rest of the game there. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Hopefully there's like perk machines and weapons and mystery boxes and stuff over on the Golden Gate Bridge for you to continue playing and you know, uh, kind of you know, getting to higher levels. We'll have to wait and see. But I don't think that you're just gonna be able to take the plane and fly right out of there and win the game. That's just, that's highly unlikely to me. So uh, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, also there is one image. If you look right here, it's four electric chairs side by side and it says no one escapes alive. So again, I think that's another hint. You aren't going to be able to win this thing. It's just you might be able to get off the island for a little bit. Maybe you have to come back or, uh, you know, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, so which should be pretty exciting to see what happens with that. I will definitely have videos for you guys. Now, uh, as for other stuff that's new in zombies, new weapons, there's some sort of flaming or magical tomahawk that I'm really, really excited about. So, as you can see it right here, it looks awesome. Then right here, you see some gameplay of it, and it's actually a boomerang, and it kills two zombies in one throw, which is very, very cool. And then also, if that wasn't already cool enough for you, it can bring power-ups to you. If you look in this gameplay right here, you don't see him throwing the tomahawk, but you can see the tomahawk bringing back the nuke, which, I don't know, that's just, that's insane, you know? I hate it when you see power-ups that are kind of unreachable because so many zombies are around you and you don't want to risk it, you know, uh, you put yourself in a bad situation where you could die to get that... Uh, you know, max ammo or whatever, but now if you have this special tomahawk, just throw that thing out there, it'll bring the power up back to you and you can stay in a safe position, which is obviously a huge, huge advantage in this zombies. Now, uh, as for other new weapons, there's the blunder gat, which the developers explained as a blunderbuss meeting a gatling gun, so a blunderbuss is just kind of like a weapon that uh, it's got like a huge barrel in it and you stuff a lot of random stuff in there and you shoot it at people and you can shoot like baseballs or teddy bears or whatever you want at people and it's just like, it, it, it does a lot of damage. It's kind of like a shotgun. It was in the movie Looper, if uh, if you guys remember that. But um, yeah, those things are pretty cool. And it's mixed with a Gatling gun. So a gun that, you know, spins and shoots really fast. So uh, that should be pretty cool. And, and if that didn't already sound powerful enough, this weapon can also be upgraded. And, and I believe it's upgraded into this green-ish gun right here. This neon green gun that, as you can see, these zombies just kind of disintegrate from the explosion. So uh, that gun definitely looks very, very good. I'm excited about it. We will uh, we'll have to wait and see. Now, uh, another thing that's returning, it's not really a new weapon, but uh, it's the zombie shield. As you can see in this gameplay right here, it's coming back in this zombies, which is exciting. And then also there are three other new weapons. There's Tommy guns or Thompsons. You see a lot of those in this gameplay. You see a lot of AK-47s, which I really wasn't expecting to see AKs return, but they are, which is pretty cool. And, and then also, you see some of this knife right here. I'm not sure if it's some type of Bowie knife. It was in kind of a weird part of the trailer where they were showing, like, gameplay mechanics. So I'm not sure if this is a special knife or if it's a normal one, but there might be some type of new, more powerful knife that, uh, that you can buy off the wall or upgrade or something like that. So uh, that should be interesting. Now, uh, moving on from guns, let's move into perks. Uh, for perks that we know are going to be coming into this, there's Juggernog, as you can see right here down the bottom left hand of your screen. This guy has Juggernog. There's Speed Cola, which as you can see on screen, you can actually see the physical vending machine. And then finally, there's a new perk called Electric Cherry, and I'll let the devs explain it. In terms of perks, we have a new perk called Electric Cherry. When you reload, it gives a shock around, which scales over time. Who's asking for it, Beach Ball? Alright, so there you go. So every single time you reload with Electric Cherry, it shocks around you. And it looks like via the gameplay, it doesn't necessarily kill zombies. You know, it might in the really, really low rounds, but it's more of like a, a you know, pausing of the zombies. It slows them down. It stops them from getting to you. So if you're in a bind, just shoot a bullet and reload, and hopefully that'll make all the zombies around you, you know, kind of slow down. You can get out of there or something like that. So uh, again, there's just a lot of cool new features features that should add quite a bit of strategy into this new zombies that I'm pretty excited about. Now, uh, moving on from perks, there are two new traps that I saw in this gameplay. One is the acid trap, which as you can see when you turn it on, this green acid falls from the ceiling and, and it burns the zombies up and kills them, which obviously looks very, very good and very, very painful. And then also, even more painful looking, are these spinny fans of death, which uh, just absolutely tear up zombies, as you can see right here. And, and then also a notable thing 
thing about these is it looks like you can crawl underneath them when they're going. So again, another cool little uh, piece of strategy for you if you want to turn that thing on and still get underneath, you just have to crawl. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, finally, moving on to the last thing I've got for you guys, new enemies in this Mob of the Dead Zombies mode. Well, first of all, there's this boss guard zombie right here. He's a prison guard. We can see his badge in one of the little sequences, and he's got, like, that baton that'll beat you with and stuff. So, uh, this guy, I think he's going to come on the map every few rounds, you know, maybe every 5, 10, 15 rounds, whatever it may be, and, and mess with you. And the dev said he'll run around and lock down the perk machines and make you have to rebuy them, so it's kind of like the monkey zombies that we saw a long time ago but uh, yeah he's just he's a little bit harder to kill he runs a little bit faster than the other zombies and he messes with your perk machines and I don't know he looks really really sweet so uh, I think he's gonna be kind of annoying you know I'm not gonna lie it's kind of like George was really annoying because he always followed you around but but it's just something you have to deal with I mean it's part of the zombies it's something you got to use strategy somebody has to take responsibility for messing with this guy so uh, you'll just have to get around it and uh, and then also I just I really think this guy's gonna play a big role not only because he's like some sort of boss you know kind of guard zombie he was also out on the Golden Gate Bridge and the image we saw a little bit ago so he doesn't go away when you get away from the island he's still following you somehow so we'll have to figure out how he gets over there and and just you know how big of a role he plays but it should be pretty cool and finally the absolute last thing I've got for you guys it's it's not necessarily a new enemy it's more of a new friendly which is really really weird as you can see right here there's this flaming hellhound like ghost head thing that's just floating and he changes positions throughout the trailers and he eats zombies he eats zombies, so he's a friendly hellhound, right? We've never seen that before. I'm super, super confused about this, but he's got to do something important. You know, maybe you have to feed him zombies to use the mystery box. Maybe you have to feed him zombies to pack a punch. Maybe you have to feed him zombies to get that special tomahawk, which I'm really leaning towards because that tomahawk that's glowing red and stuff, it just kind of looks like it would come from him, you know? So maybe if you feed him enough zombies, he opens a secret door or, you know, something to allow you to go and pick up that tomahawk. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, there's some weird friendly zombie eating ghost head hellhound in this new zombies, which is uh, I, I don't know. That's just crazy. Can't wait to see how it works. And, and I think this is going to be one of the best zombies to date. So I'm super excited. I don't know if you guys are, but you should be. And, and the zombies comes out soon. It comes out this Tuesday for everybody that has an Xbox. And then a month from now for everybody with PS3 and PC. So uh, you guys will definitely see a lot of videos on my channel coming up very soon. Both multiplayer and from zombies. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.